Good morning guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a little uh, share really of, um, I'm calling it Tippins, Tuck Spots and Tags because it's just a share of how I've been um, customising this little book that I made hmm, beginning of the year. I think I made about four. Did I have four? I had some in the shop and um i decided to keep this one for myself and initially i've done them as a, like a collage book uh but then my friend um she ordered one from my shop and she wanted to use it hers as a a book for inspirational quotes and um favorite scriptures and so on and so forth and i thought that was a really good idea uh, because I'd only done one collage in um, some of you may remember this one from the beginning of the year, the spring one. And so I decided then to do the same, use mine for the same. But what I've been doing is adding uh, over the last uh, few weeks, been adding uh, tuck spots, uh, tip ins and tags. Um, so I'll probably just go through with you. Um, I don't know now or later, actually just how I've just added some different postcards and bits and pieces to create writing space um, on these collage pages. So, um, but what I did the other day was I basically had the um, the new, the, the October ephemera box from Rosia R. Atelier, and I did a, I did a film, I, I did a, a, an unboxing, which wouldn't, um, it refused to upload to YouTube uh, so I just pulled the idea was to pull some pieces out and uh, just do a little share of how I used some of the uh, this month's bits and bobs in um, a current project so um, I thought I would do if we have the time just a couple of bits really using some of these lovely goodies the first thing I wanted to do was to um, add this these little gorgeous little uh, post-its um, to the hmm, I've got a typewriter page I think I highlighted it on um, it was on Instagram a little while ago and it's one of these it's one of these so this this bit here this lovely page is from last month I think it's from September from the September ephemera box and so what she does is the top shows you the different stamps and bits and pieces that are in the box and I love so this that last month we had this beautiful type vintage typewriter um, as part of the stamps and I added some uh, one of my postcards from the vintage postcard collection that I um, repro collection and uh, so I made a little booklet made a little booklet um, and then tipped it in so I stuck stuck this in and added some pages but I wanted to just do something with this that was all it's not going to be fancy and I thought I really like I really like to put one of those in there um, but I didn't know whether to do it just on its own there's some other bits and pieces that I've decided to pull out and uh, so yeah let's just tell you what I'll do we'll just ink around I'll just ink around this page and then I will add I'm going to do this at an angle guys because I'm in frame but I'm on a stool because it's quite a dark day to be honest um, over here today quite cloudy and so I'm doing this by the window if you can see that so I'm just gonna so what I've done here I put some um, this paper here is from a stamp collectors book album that I've got and uh, oh, I don't know whether that should go in as well yeah let me show you what I've been using as well let's do that so to add to the um, uh, some of the tippings I've added some are from this um, RHS uh, 100 flowers uh, postcards um, which I bought one myself and a friend bought me one as well um, I was very very 
blessed with that. I've added some um, of these postcards, as, as you know. Um, some of these I've sold in my shop too. So um, I've also added um, some bits and pieces from this new this calendar. Uh, featured, I did a little share, I think, was it on Instagram the other week? Oh, I don't know, or on YouTube as well, I'm not sure. Anyway, this, um, these 2020 calendars, this is the William Morris one, which is gorgeous, um, are in the charity shops local to me at the moment. So if you're in the UK, it might be worth having a little butcher's to see whether or not you've got any local to you. 3 99 for that, for that beautiful, I'm going to pop that right there actually, 3 99 for that gorgeous piece of work. Uh, and I thought that will look lovely in my... Uh, oh yes, look lovely in here. So I hope you guys are all well. We're just about the kids of the, the having their first day today, their first day off uh, for half term. So it's quite nice, quite a leisurely morning. Right, I'm going to pop that there just for a little bit of interest. Now the problem with me, because I do love to embellish, as you know, is that the idea is I'm supposed to be creating writing space, aren't I? So I don't know if I should pop that up there as it opens up, or just up here, or just there. Yeah, I'm just going to pop it here. I wonder, what do you think, guys, whether or not it's only like a little post-it? Oh, with ink up, it will ink up. Let's take that white down a bit. Not too keen on the white. I'm just using what is called vintage sepia, which is very useful for most things. No, very useful indeed. I think this is beautiful. So let's pop one of those there. So when you we open up, we will have a real. Oh. I done here? Huh? It's not good. Use more than one. Don't be too greedy. Is that straight? Let's kind of position it first. And then I'm going to, I'm using my Fabri-Tac only because when we're on, when the camera's on, it's just easy. You've seen what a mess I make of things when I have my big Bostic bottle. Many a glue gate moment have resulted from that. As you regular subscribers know, it can get quite ugly. It can get quite ugly. So, I like that. I like that. I think, I think that would be quite pretty when I open up. So that was one thing I wanted to do. The other thing I quite fancy doing is um, using this. This came in the um, this came in the box this month, and I wanted to use it as a tip in on one of the pages. So let's just ink it up on this side first, and then we'll turn it over and do something on the back before we tip it in um, because I think that would be lovely to be tipped in and create some more writing space on one of the pages and I think, did I choose a page? No. Let's go to one now. Uh, let's see. I was going to do a but we could do a plane. Could be quite nice, and I can do something. What's on the back of this? No, let's not do that one. Mm, didn't want to, because I tip in and I pop a. No. Nope. Yeah, that's nice. Because you know why. Yep, I think that's going to be quite nice and I can do something on here unless I do it on that one on that side. Yes, let's tip it in there. Let's do that. Let's do that. 
Right, so we'll tip that, that in. I've got some nice washi. Uh, first thing I want to do on the back here, I've pulled some bits and pieces out. Let's move this over here for now. Um, is the I've pulled a nice big stamp out. I pulled this a little, uh, some, um, is that, a tiny bit of that. I think that will do us, that will do us. That will do us for now. So, can you hear my tummy? Oh yes, I was going to use one of these pieces as well. This came in, these little um, notepad things came in. The, um, he came in this box. Uh, I think we will use oh, the music part. What do you think? What I wanted to do was, or is, yes, I'll do that. I'll do that. Or should I do it a bit bigger? Might do it a bit bigger, actually. Let's see. Let's do it because I want to have a contrast. So I want to uh, use some muslin. I like that idea. And this was a little stamp. I think I picked it up in one of my charity shops, and they do little charity shops. I don't know where I got that one from, but I think that's really pretty. Uh, right, let's ink it up. Let's ink it up. Let's ink it all up. This was from a little book I have of... Um, yes, I would... Sorry, someone's just messaged me. In the middle of, I'm, I'm filming um, on my phone. Oh, 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 there you go. Don't want to be seeing the my garden path, do you? Not really. Right, let's pop that in there, like so. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. There you go. Let's pop that there like that. And then I thought I would just have this one like so. Tiny bit of muslin underneath. Uh, actually, this. Hmm. Let's go for that. Just like a random shape, really. I don't really mind how what the shape is particularly. And I don't mind if it's actually a little bit crumpled either. So let's just pop that down there like that because. There you go. I could trim a little bit off, couldn't I? There you go. Just take that foldy bit off. Let's pop that down there like so. Or should we bring it across? No, let's do that. And I might actually ink it all up once it's done. So let's just do... And as you can see, guys, this is really on the hoof here. Make it up as we go along, eh? Mm. That looks a bit like Australia to me. A little bit of muslin. Probably doesn't to anyone else. Have one of my moments. Okay, let's pop you like that. And then, which way did we say we were going to do it? In fact, funnily enough, we were going to pop it in that, weren't we? I might tip it on the other side. I might just tip it on the other side only because I decided to do that down the bottom. And I need to ink this as well. 
Do I need to do that? Let's ink it that way. Note to self, ink up before you glue. Save yourself a lot of bother. So I'm going to pop that like so, only because I'll put a bit of washi on the side to tip it in. heavy handed on the old and you know what I've found um, I've got a I picked up a little while ago uh, a bag of scraps scrap fabrics from a um, one of my local charity shops which is filled to the gunnels with beautiful things and I think I might add a few bits and bobs from that but probably not on camera. I might not see it on camera. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop it in on this side only because let's turn it over. Let's get the book out again, guys. Let's get the book. Let's get the book. I'm hoping, I don't know what happened on um, Monday. It was Monday. Believe it or not, it's Friday now. Let's put that there, I think. Um, yeah, it's Friday today. Don't know what happened. Um, I, as I said, I did the flip, of the op the open. Oh, what's the word? The word I want in my head is um, unboxing. And uh, went to upload, and it just wouldn't do it. Would not upload. Tried most of the day, and in the end, um, it just kept saying. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had this kind of error message. Um, video invalid asset never seen that before in my life not gonna lie um so somehow it had become cor become corrupted i suppose i don't know let's pop that on there like that uh so yeah what i'll probably do i would it be useful because rosie does every month she does a little share on her youtube channel of the contents of the the new box and what I could probably, I'll just have it a bit of a brainy moment. I'll just link that video below so you can see the contents, the rest of the contents of this uh, set, uh, October box. Because I will be popping some more in, some more pieces in. popping some more pieces in over the next few days that will do you know I might actually a bit uneven I might actually do some more another I have some more washi but it's around it's actually not just by me but I can get another one I think bear with you guys really like this one. I really like this one and this one will go on a little bit straighter. This is, um, I think, this is part of the, yeah, I might just do that. Tim Holtz from, uh, they had an offer on at Hobbycraft the other week on Tim Holtz washes. And this kind of graph papery one was one of them I really like. So, 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 so. So, 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 I might have to turn the camera on again to do the tuck spot, only because we're nearly at 20 minutes, doesn't time fly when you're having fun, can I open up like that, like that, uh, yeah, we're nearly at 20 minutes already, and, uh, I'd like to do the tuck spots and I'd also like to do a share, uh, just a little flip through of the other things that I've popped in so far to convert this from a collage book to a book for my favourite quotes, inspirational bits and pieces and scriptures. 
looking forward to working in it. So let's see if we can get this one uploaded. So. Yeah, you see, can you see there, guys? Another glue gate thing going on here. Oh, whoa, no need for that. Is that straight? Might take it over to the side as well. Let's take that off. I will straighten that up. That's real. So, if you any of you are really into precisely measuring and so on and so forth, just look away so that you don't get nightmares. Um, I'm kind of fine with this for my own junk journals, not a problem. But we're all different, aren't we? We're all different creatures. We're all different creatures, so... That's just how it is. Right, we'll tidy that up a little bit more. Anon, probably off camera, guys. And uh, we'll try and upload this one. So, tuck box, tippins and tags, part one. Converting my collage book into a quotes journal. Okay, so, 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 here we are. Here we are. Just done a little tip in share from my October box. I love that. I love that. Love how that's looking. Um, let's not glue every single page in the book. Let's really try not to do that. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to try and upload this one and then I'll come back and we'll do a little tip in and a little flip through of um, what I've done so far um, just to give you some ideas for inspiration of any um, journals, even a bought journal. You might even have a bought journal. If it's got a bit of give to it, um, you could actually do this to um, add some interest, some of your favourite pieces to a bought journal for journaling in. So thanks for joining me, guys. Um, please like and subscribe if you do. If you do like, and if you haven't subscribed, just there's a little bell there and a little bell icon. And if you um, tap on that, it'll let you know every time I um, upload one of my crazy videos. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.